What's up everybody? Ryan again from Wolfton Body Company. Today on Tech Talk, we're gonna be going over an electrical box with Drew. Uh, he's gonna be showing us the ins and outs and exactly what to do here. So let's go check it out, see what he's up to. Where is he at? There he is. What's going on, Ryan? What's up, Drew? Nothing too much. Going over a uh, pre-delivery inspection for a customer. Awesome, awesome. You got us, um, want to show us an electrical box real quick? Yeah, absolutely, man. All right, sweet. So, so uh, right here, you got the, your, uh, this is actually your body fuse panel here. Okay. Um, which is actually explained up here. It's actually a really neat diagram that kind of breaks everything down. Oh, sweet. Yeah, it's this way, you know, quick, easy diagnostics for the customer. So what's really cool, it even breaks it down to noise suppression, um, master disconnect and accessory, and ignition. So depending on, the, there's a noise suppression switch inside, it will kill like all your heaters and stuff. So if you're going over mm -hmm. train tracks, you can just flick a switch and it tells you everything that's on that noise suppression circuit. And it would actually break it down here in your panel. So NS1, so it's pretty much all this column here. Okay. And it just breaks it down. So it actually makes it really simple, you know, diagnostics for customers, so. Nice, nice, yep. good and, stuff. And then also what you have in here is your, you got your chassis fuse panel, which they show you it here, but yeah. it doesn't explain it because all the information is actually right here. Oh, okay. So that is your panel, but that's where all your. So your what's all this information? information? What is all this? Um, this is your information for like your power supplies for your ECM, your you uh, know, okay. in, your instrument cluster, your trans, uh, your BCM, and even like your your base chassis components, like your wiper switch and your ignition relay and your backup relay. So gotcha, gotcha. That would all take place in here. So. Yeah, it's actually uh, it's a pretty cool, pretty cool setup, and it's actually very easy once you're able to break it down. Yeah, it doesn't look too confusing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so this is this is just one of the many things we you know we look over when we're doing a pre-delivery inspection. Like I'll even show you just like one little thing we call it here is this light actually stays on when this door's closed. Oh, okay. So you can actually catch it from the inside looking in. You can see the light sticking on. Gotcha. So what we're gonna do is just bump that out, make sure that the doesn't cause an issue because this bus sitting for long periods of time and that light on will actually kill the battery. Okay. The for all day, yeah, right? yeah. Um, yeah, what's, what's really cool about this is there's also, um, this fuse panel actually doesn't break it down. It gives you a blank circuit here. But yeah. Right here, which is here, is a 125 amp fuse. That is your main power for your body controller, which is located behind the dash. So you just flip this up and there, there's your fuse right there. So oh, wow. that's always a good one to check if you're starting to have like a bunch of body issues yeah. going on. Yeah. So, um, yeah, and then you got your air pressure regulator. So each one of these would be your, your stop arm and your crossing gate. So mm -hmm. you can actually just do fine tune adjustments to get them to open faster or quicker or, you know, um, you know, things like that. Just so anyway, when you're looking at these panels, um, if you're having any issues at all with an, any kind of associated circuit, if you just want to pull out breakers mm -hmm. um, and just look at the terminals, a lot of times you'll see like the terminals will slide back into the connector body um, and that can cause... That's not of, good. Yeah, a lot of problems and it'll just be intermittent connections, you know, customers will be like, hey, you know, my heaters just, they work intermittently on and off and mm -hmm. a lot of times it's just something really simple just yeah. like that. So make sure this goes in the right slot again. So also what's cool about this is this isn't entirely all the electrical yeah, really on, on this vehicle. Okay. You do have more. We're at, we're at. Uh, you have some in the battery Down box. Here. Okay. So a lot of times, this is a brand new box, so this is actually really nice. Yeah, this, this does look this nice. Stuff, latest and greatest. So right here you have something called your clean power harness. Mm -hmm. This is all your main harnesses. This is all your main power and ground supply for your, your trans, your, uh, looks like we got our DEF feed fuse and then our engine ECM. So those are actually your main fundamental components of the vehicle. So which, which something you want to look at on these um, as they get older, sometimes you'll start seeing burning on these fuses around the fuses. And that's not good. Yeah, so the fuse won't be popped, which will be weird, but you'll see like the actual plastic around the fuse will, Melted. Start, will start to melt. And okay. it's actually really common, more so in the big connector here. So his bus is probably going to light up and have all types of issues now. But around these terminals, you'll start seeing melting and the wire, you can actually physically pull it out. Now it happens on the power side, but I actually see it more common on the ground side, which is these white wires. Okay. So that one you'll have, uh, 
you know, customers will call you up and go, hey, I have intermittent shutdowns. And, uh, you know, as a dealer, we'll tell the customers, hey, take a peek at your clean power harness. And mm -hmm. that's what this is. There's actually three legs of this. You have your positive leg, your negative leg, and then there's two connectors here that run down to the starter. Okay. So a lot of our older products, the legacy products like the Max 7 and the DT, that was actually a more common problem. So uh, all right, all right. It's definitely one of those ones you want to just check over, make sure it's... So that's basically the gist of the all electrical right there? Yeah, I mean, those are your, your biggest basic, you know, components that you want to look at um, mm -hmm. more often. So. Sweet, sweet. Well, thanks, Drew. I appreciate it, man. Absolutely, man. Take care. You too. Hey guys, I just want to say thank you for tuning in. I also just want to give you a little bit of background information on Wolfington Body Company and what we do here. Uh, we're an IC bus dealership. We also sell commercial buses as well. We serve the Delaware, New Jersey, and Pennsylvania area. Uh, we do everything on the bus from service to body work uh, to cleaning it and to delivering right to your doorstep. I really appreciate you guys tuning in and watching our video. If you guys would hit that like button and subscribe button, also the notification bell, why don't you hit all three? And um, I would really appreciate that. Also, if you guys have any comments, uh, shoot them down below. If you guys are looking for to see Drew work on a certain part or a certain aspect of the bus, you know, shoot a comment. We'll make a video. We'll help you guys out. And we really appreciate you guys to tune in. We'll see you next week.